Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. But today, I just wanted to bring you guys along with me while I clean my face and just have a little bit of chat time with you guys. Um, I still use the same products, but I did add in two new additional products from Eminence. And I used to have the Chamomile, I think it was the Cam Calm Skin, um, moisturizer, but I changed to the Firm Skin Acai Moisturizer. I hope you guys can see that. Let's see, you guys already know. Yeah, this one. Um, this smells amazing, guys. Um, it's pretty much the same price as the other one. And now this serum. This is the Citrus and Kale Potent Vitamin C and E Serum. Um, it's for all skin types, it says. You only need a little bit. But this, guys, let me see. This crap was like $110. And the bottle, honestly, I think the bottle is pretty good because you only need a little bit. So what I do is I just put a droplet in my hand and just kind of rub it in. I kind of stay away from under my eyes on this one. Um, and I still use my trusty <laughs> Neutrogena. I use this one when I feel like my, maybe if I woke up and I felt like I was sweating maybe, um, or if I had on makeup, or if I don't have any, anything, like a simple morning, I'll use this one, which this is, I like this one. Now here's the thing, this is the Hydro Boost Gentle Cleansing Lotion for Sensitive Skin. It has like like a frosty color to it. Target does not have this one. I only can get this from Ulta. Don't know why, but I like it. I still use my Eminem's um, toner. Let's see if you guys can see the toner. You know. And then my trusty, trusty <laughs> oh, misting spray. You guys know this one. Is it gonna zoom? And then I don't even have on my contact, so I can't even see. And then sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit dry, I use the Camilla Glow Salad Face by Eminence, which is there. Let's see. Yeah. This little thing is probably a little bit bigger it's probably a little bit bigger than like a Carmex but I think this is like $75 it does go a long way guys right so let's just make sure that we're good to go here all right so I'm just gonna turn on my trusty steamer and this is one by the this is the one by Vanity Planet. I love it. I just want to just I did rinse my face off already, um, but I wanted to just like loosen loosen up the skin and all that good stuff. So today I want to talk about dealing with no choosing your battles. Okay, choosing your battles is something that is we have to learn how to do. And whether it's with someone in your family, someone in your job at your job, or just on your everyday travel, picking the battles to fight is so important in your health, you being able to just function throughout the day and not letting things take over, right? So I have my, my cloth here. Um, and I got these from Home Goods, guys. These are awesome. So my steam is going. I'm gonna just let it go some more. So, <laughs> and, and guys, this is the in between me going to get my face shoe. Um, so we, you, you shouldn't really steam your face all the time, but I had a face shoe like a, maybe three weeks ago. So I just went through this. So anyway. When you choose your battles, guys, you learn how to literally um, take back the power, right? You take back the power of 
just dealing with difficult people. So I'll give you an example. If you work at a job, um, uh, or even a family member, right? That's just family, because everybody always has issues at job. But let's talk about some family, right? And you have um, someone who is just difficult all the time, right? They're just like the family member that's always with the drama, the family member that's always picking on everyone, calling everybody out on stuff, and they don't think there's anything wrong with them, right? Normally, you would probably go back and forth with them. But once you realize that this particular person is very draining, this is the situation where you don't want to go back and forth with a person, right? Because what that's going to do is ultimately make you feel like just frustrated for the day. So in that case, I would say don't say anything. Just let them be them and that's it right? Because eventually what's going to happen is they're going to notice that you're not entertaining them and then they'll stop, right? So I'm just going to let this go for a little bit and then I'm going to put some of this cleanser on. I'm going to wet my rag actually a little bit. Hold on guys. So just to loosen it, I'm gonna turn that off and I'll put it back on in a few. Um, so, you know, just choosing your battles in that situation is very important. Let's just say you are married, right? If you're married and, <laughs> and this is for men and women, <laughs> if your wife is difficult, <laughs> You may want to pick your battles. And for the woman, if your husband is difficult or just having a bad day, you know, choose when you want to actually have this um, kind of like debate with them, right? So I'm going to say, what am I going to use today? Because I don't have on anything on my face. I'm going to use my, my trusty... Neutrogena um, one. And I'm just gonna use a little bit. It's very like liquidy, but I like it. So in those situations, you know, people wake up on the wrong side of the bed and um, they don't be in the mood, right? Now, it doesn't mean that it's okay to treat your spouse like that. Um, it's just knowing when somebody's just having a bad day. A bad day, not a bad every day, okay? Or a bad week, no, I'm not with that. So you can definitely kind of like, if you notice something like that with your spouse, just kind of like, you know. So my, my, not my battery, my freaking <laughs> thing, my card was full. <laughs> so you choose your battles, um, you know, and like I said, it doesn't mean that you have a bad day every day, but you know, sometimes you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and that's totally, totally, totally okay, right? Um, so that's dealing with a family member, dealing with a spouse, and let's say dealing with a friend because that's different too, right? Dealing with a friend who is having a bad day or a week. Now, should you actually give the friend a pass? A pass, a pass. <laughs> should you give them a pass? Should you allow them to treat you a certain way or talk to you a certain way, right? Or potentially always have an attitude, right? No. One thing I will say is this. At the end of the day, you have to always protect you, your energy, and how things make you feel. It's not running away from it, it's just literally protecting it. I, I don't talk about this a lot on my channel, but I'm a Cancer, 
And you guys know cancers are like totally in tune with the earth and the world. But once I sense something is off, ha, ah, I'm gone. Like I'm totally gone. Um, I don't want it to interrupt my spirit, period. And if it does, I may say something about it. Um, most times I will just keep it moving, right? Now, if I do approach it, that's just me trying to not do what I normally do, which is get the hell on, right? <laughs> and I think that has a lot to do with like growth too, right? So when you're used to having the same reaction and stuff, um, you try something different, right? Which leads me into dealing with somebody at your job, right? So your job, your job is another place where you can deal, potentially deal with difficult people. And I might've said this before, but imagine having, imagine you're a boss and you got some first of all i didn't even use this and that's because i am um, i didn't have anything on my face um but imagine imagine having a boss who's like that but i am gonna i am gonna do this i'm gonna add on some of this and this is the exfoliating just a small bit. So here, here's the thing, guys. I, my skin is, I don't want to say it's sensitive, but I guess so. I can only use this and mix this together. Um, I can't put the exfoliating on my face directly. Unless I'm at the um, place, the um, esthetician. Um, because she uses organic products. So I'm going to actually put a little bit of the cream cleanser on. I'm just going to do a double cleansing. I don't know, I feel like... I just want to today. So you think about your boss, or you're a boss, and you have an extremely difficult employee. <laughs> and you gotta deal with this person every day. Or, or vice versa. You're an employee, your boss is difficult. What do you do? Do you go back and forth with them all the time? Because that's, I think that's people's initial reaction is to do that, right? Is to go back and forth and just prove a point, right? But then you gotta realize like, should I even be fighting this battle? Cause I am a firm believer of, it's two things. If things start to get difficult, it's probably time to move. Just go on and just get up out of there, right? Um. A lot of employees think that employees are, like that's their end all. Um, but sometimes you gotta let them know like, <laughs> if, if I'm not supposed to be here, I'm just not supposed to be here. And then you have this situation where God is trying to tell you, he's trying to give you a sign of growth, right? So he makes you uncomfortable and he wants to see how you're gonna handle the situation. In those cases, guys, I would say, think of it like that. Now, I could see if something was toxic, then you must go, right? But now, if something, if it's like a little uncomfortable, it's probably because you have to adjust and grow in a certain area, right? So, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> That's a hard one because if you really think about it, um, a lot of people, it's just, it's hard to be in a situation where it's uncomfortable, right? That's, that's hard. That's hard because, <laughs> I guess because you're used to reacting in a certain way, right? Let me grab my mirror. Hold on, guys. Because I'm over here not even doing the right thing. Um, yeah, make sure it's all off. So, <laughs> so when you, when you think of it like that, like God is trying to help you grow or force you to grow, right? Then you say, you stay in a situation and you figure it out. You choose your battles. You choose when to go back and forth with a person. 
And I have this discussion with a lot of people. First of all, I didn't even put this on my face. And I'm not going to do it because I already took the cleanse up off. Um, so that's all done. Let me just make sure I got it all off. Uh, so in those cases, you just, you know, like I said, you just grow. He's giving child. I don't know what's happening. My front, my camera is like <laughs> cutting off on me. Um, I'm going to have to figure this out. Cause I have space on my card. Anyway. So, you know, he will do things to make you feel uncomfortable just so that he can prepare you for what he has in store for you, right? It can be an opportunity. Um, are you gonna be able to handle these folks? These same people that you're dealing with in your family, your friends, and your job, with this personality, you may encounter the same person with this new opportunity. Are you gonna be able to handle it? So, you know, he does things to like, really um, make sure that we're prepared, right? It's hard. But the reality of it is, is just how he works, right? He's going to prepare you. He's not going to give you things that you can't handle. So that was just a little, little chat about that, guys. <laughs> so right now, I'm actually going to just turn this off. I'm going to, I'm all over the place, guys. I'm going to just put on some toner, right, which is... This, this is, I'm telling you guys, this is like so awesome. And I hate this, yeah. This is so awesome. And I'm just gonna spray it. I just spray it on both sides and just kind of rub it in. Because I like this a lot. And can you believe before I was never using a toner. You guys know I used to use good old Vaseline. And now I'm gonna put on some moisturizer. So like I said, this has hyaluronic acid, so I don't have to use that Neutrogena one. Um, I can still if I want to, but, because I still really love it. And I just wanna do a little bit of the moisturizer. And when I say a little bit, this thing go a long way. Look at it, lathering up. Um, so you guys, if you have any, <laughs> you can comment below if you deal with a difficult person in your, your life, like a family member, a friend, or even your job, comment below. Let's talk about this because I think a lot of people, was, how can I say this? Like, I think a lot of people want to stay away from that or they know when someone is difficult and they are pretty much like not being nice. <laughs> now, for the folks that's out here being a-holes to people purposely, doing spiteful things to people, uh, being shady to people, you know, those things. Let me tell you some karma is a mother hubba. And I feel like whatever you put out there, guys, I'm just gonna put this on my face. I usually put it in my hand, but I'm just gonna do it this way because I'm on camera. Um, And just a little bit, like a little bit. And don't do it like this because the other day, my behind um, spilled some, okay? And, but karma, karma is, oh my God. Karma is one of those things, and I know people don't like to use the word karma because you have good karma too. But I like to say karma because it's literally both, both ways, right? You're putting, if you put out negative, or put out bad things, that's what's gonna come back to you. You put out, um, I'm gonna put some canola oil today. Camellia oil, I don't know why I always say canola oil. And this is the, this is the, the glow, the solid face oil. And guys, I had this for a pretty long time. And 
it's still pretty um my camera just be like doing you know what? i'm gonna figure this out one day and you literally like a tiny tiny bit when i mean like a tiny bit i mean it's smaller than a a dime um but karma you got good and bad karma so it really depends on what you're putting out there and i'm gonna leave you guys on this note because I've seen this happen, man. I've seen it happen. Can you guys see a little shine? And then I'm just going to spray a little bit of my good old Mario Badusu. I never know how to say his name. So I'm going to leave you guys on this. I have seen people do things to people. <clears throat> I've seen parents do things to their kids. I've seen, uh, this is mo mothers and fathers, um, and I've seen it backfire later on. Um, and when I mean by backfire, not meaning that the kids did something to them, meaning that the kids stood their ground and kind of stayed true to who they were. And let's just say a parent needed help with something. The kids still did it. And that karma was for that parent to feel like crap because of how they treated their kids maybe, right? Or you have that boss who doesn't have any type of real sympathy or empathy for any of his employees, right? I'll give you an example. You can have women with children who are single moms, right? And then maybe you have like a male boss who don't have kids, who don't know what that life is like, right? So they don't understand when you have to take off for your kids and stuff. Um, I've seen that happen where a boss was just like, ooh, didn't care. He ended up having a kid, and but he was not a nice person. And I kept saying, this energy that this man is putting out there is gonna come back to him. And here's the thing, it doesn't always come back to you. It doesn't. It can come back to someone close in your fam like your immediate family, and that's what happened. And I'll tell you this, it was a really bad accident that happened, and no one at the job cared. No one cared that the situation happened. And that is because he didn't care about anyone at the job, right? Or you have that friend who low blows you, right? And they know that they say things that are not nice, that could potentially hurt your feelings or whatever. Um, but then they realize why certain things happen in their lives, right? So all these things happen and people need to really realize this, what you're putting out there. So it, ultimately it boils down to what you're putting out there into the world and it boomeranging right back to you. So think of it like that, guys. Whatever you put out into the world, are you okay with receiving that back? And that's my question for you guys. What you're putting out right now into this world, your energy, your attitude, how you treat people, all of that, would you be okay with receiving that back? Okay. <laughs> so that's all I wanted to do today, just kind of just chop it up with you guys. Um, and just kind of just walk you through my, my cleansing. I was all over the place today. But I did, like I said, I did have the new products, which is the serum and the new um, moisturizer. And listen, this this smells so good. Oh, my God. Um, so if you like videos like this, please comment below. And let me know if you want to see more lifestyle videos. Because you guys know I've just kind of been switching some things on my channel. Um, I know people do like to see things like that. So I just need the feedback from you guys so I know what to really really make as far as me doing like hauls and stuff huh, I do them but it's not like I don't know I feel like they're kind of like boring sometimes because it's literally the same thing everybody's doing Zara very rarely you'll see someone bring up like a new brand or something like that um so yes if you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment Coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram this is what I want all of my followers <laughs> Go to my Instagram and follow me there. I, I post so many tips about 
corporate fashion um because you guys i know you guys know i do styling for corporate professional women so they can get the job right um leveraging their image and tackling vertical style challenges which is kind of it's pretty much shopping for your body um so guys head over there and just hit the follow button so you can get those updates every day um so that's all i have for you guys today let me know what you guys think and think about that question again what you're putting out there right now is it something your energy your attitude how you treat people would you be okay with receiving that back Okay, if you are not, that means that you have to change something. You have to change something. Yeah. <laughs> so I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.